hello everyone welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so today i'm going to talk about jira workflow in the last video we started an introduction to jira tool and a bit of history about the jira tool and also we talked about what are the different products products we have inside jira tool now today we'll focus on the the high level workflow of jira jira and basically we'll try to understand how jira works so let's get it started so this is the high level workflow of jira guys and uh, i took this diagram from the official website of atlassian so probably i'll provide the link in the description box of this video so that you can access the diagram this diagram as well now as you can see in this diagram this is the high uh, high level workflow and most of the projects which we are using in jira we are going to use this workflow correct so just listen carefully so that you can understand the workflow better right and going forward i'll show you i'll uh, create a dummy project as well and i'll show you the complete workflow inside jira tool how we are going to do each and everything inside jira tool and also we'll discuss about a uh, test management tool x-ray as well which i uh, talked about in the last video as well so we are going to use complete testing life cycle as well correct so what happens is whenever we uh, let's say we are working in a project like uh, first time we are going to use the jira tool now we are uh, let's say we are we are 10 members in a team and we are going to use the jira as a tool uh, as a project management tool for our project so how we are going to start the first thing is we uh, we need to create the accounts for all the users we need to create the account we need to set up the account jira accounts for all the 10 users and uh, and then we have to give the desired permission as well so that is the first thing which we are going to do when we set up the when we are going to migrate to jira tool right so that is the first thing second thing is we have to choose the project uh, like we have to choose the framework when we set up our project or when we migrate our project in jira then we have to choose the framework so in agile basically there are two frameworks which generally we use the first one is scrum and another one is kanban so probably i discussed in the last video a little bit about this these two so we have a scrum framework and kanban framework what is the basic difference between these two so scrum follows fixed length of fixed size of sprint cycle correct fixed size of sprint cycle what is an what is a sprint right we need to understand what is sprint so sprint sprint is nothing but the duration where we release our build correct so let's say there are four requirements and which we are going to deploy in coming week so these four requirements will be released in this particular sprint so generally it happens like uh, generally sprint cycle will be of two to three weeks two to three weeks generally it is for most of the project projects it will be like two weeks some of the projects for three weeks and some projects it will be off one week as well so this is nothing but the sprint cycle the duration where we deploy our build so scrum has fixed fixed length of fixed length of sprint cycle whereas kanban in kanban framework we don't have any fixed length no fixed length of sprint cycle correct here we deploy the build frequently or we don't have any fixed time right so that is for those projects we are using the kanban framework and uh, scrum where we have fixed length of sprint cycle like fixed duration of sprint cycle correct so this is the basic difference between scrum and kanban so for our tutorial we are going to use the scrum project and later on probably uh, if time permits then probably i'll set up a separate project on kanban as well so take an example of scrum for now right so the second thing is first thing is account creation for all the user second is project setup and there are some settings which we are going to do as part of once we set up the project when we decide the scrum project and then we do some settings so that is the second step right third step would be create different issues in jira different issues will be epic 
we have uh, stories or user stories and then we have task sub task so these are the different issues we have in jira so everything will be considered in jira uh, what are the different entities like epic stories task sub task if we talk about x-ray like we have test test plan test execution we have uh, test cases test set right these are all issues in jira will be considered as issues in jira don't say don't like uh, assume like it is a bug error or something like that but we have a bug type of issue as well so everything will be considered as issue let me show you so this is my jira account where if you click on create here you will see issue type right this entity name is issue type where we can see task story bug epic so these are the different issue types so the third thing is we create the different different issue types different issues right now what is an epic what is an epic so epic epic is nothing but the large amount of work is called epic or i would say large body of work is called epic which is further divided into like different like user stories right so epic let me give an example so let's say we are working on a website where we have login page we are developing login page so there are different components inside login page creation of username password sign in page and forget password page as well right so login page itself can be divided into different components so this login page creation login page creation is an epic and further epic will be divided into user story 1 user story 2 user story 3 like that and so on correct correct so and what is user story user story is particular requirement or change request or business requirement that is those are user stories now if you talk about the sprint now what happens is once issues are created once we started uh, working on different issues or different tasks and then stories can be divided into task and subtask as well task so let's say this user story this uh, creation of username and password is a single user story now that will be divided into task different task as well so we'll give one task to developer another task to another developer let's say this the task one is for the front end development and second task is for the integration with the back end so that will be another task so this is how we can divide different tasks to the team members right now if you talk about the sprint so there are two types of sprint once all the issues uh, are created for our project then we have to decide the sprint cycle right and sprint cycle will be divided into two parts as well so we have product product backlog and sprint backlog sorry this is backlog 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 will be divided into two parts what is backlog it will be divided into two parts product backlog and sprint backlog so what is product backlog so we can define like a prioritized list of tasks is known as uh, which comes under backlog correct and in product log uh, what what are the things are there in product backlog like desired work which to be which needs to be done and uh, i would say what are the different features to be deployed in you know in upcoming weeks and also some of the uh, uh, changes or customer requirements those are all comes under this product backlog a sprint backlog is nothing but the sprint cycle well, let's say we have a 20 20 items are there in this product backlog which consists of different you know user stories and epic requirements and out of 20 requirements let's say only four are going to be deployed in this particular sprint so that is nothing but the sprint backlog where we'll again filter filter out some of the requirements from the product backlog and so ideally i can say like sprint backlog is the subset of product backlog this is what we can define 
the sprint backlog generally sprint backlog and product backlog are used interchangeably inter interchangeably as well so this is about the uh, backlogs and uh, another thing is what happens once we set up the sprint cycle so we start working on the sprint so how we are going to start plan a sprint run the sprint and a sprint will be end and then we'll release the version correct and then let's say this version is milestone uh, 2401 for, for a particular week next week it will be like 24 24 is uh, this denotes the year and 01 denotes the first build second build will be 2402 like this so that is the release version and then we'll wrap up the project like this is how we are going to go about the agile projects right so if, you, if i come back uh, come back from the beginning so project configuration which we discussed initially like account creation and later on choose the framework and plan a version right planning the sprint cycle like first we set up the product backlogs and then we plan for the sprint so all the managers or product managers product owners will be involved in the complete life cycle of uh, sprint planning or complete life cycle of the project right and uh, users are nothing but the the developers we can say developers testers those are all comes under and B, uh, BAs as well all come all comes under this this particular phase where we actually work in the where we execute the sprint planning the sprint running the sprint and ending the sprint correct so this is a high level workflow of jira tool guys and uh, let's look into the next next uh, slide so let me just revise what we have discussed so far so imagine a software development project where the team uses jira jira account creation and basic setup that is the first we discussed project creation a new project is created in jira issue creation team members create issues for features bugs and tasks workflow also we discussed correct each issues uh, issue progresses through a workflow from to do to done so let me you that as well so here we have a particular issue life cycle as well so once we start like uh, when we create the issue it will be open state and it will be later on in progress and from in progress it will be uh, resolved from resolved it will be it could be reopened as well and directly it will be closed as well so this is jira workflow right uh, sorry issue workflow and board management the team uses scrum board to plan sprints and track progresses sprint planning issues are assigned to sprints during sprint planning meetings work execution team members assign uh, work on issues updating their status as they progress and reporting the team member uses jira reports to review progress and adapt their plan so this is all about uh, today guys where uh, we discussed about a high level workflow of jira later on going forward i'll create uh, a project dummy project in jira and i'll show you the complete workflow as well so here you can see the backlog these are the different issues and these are the issue status workflow status to do done and uh, you can change it to in progress as well like in progress correct and here you can see active sprints this is how we can decide our sprints as well from here you can see backlog and you can see sample sprint one uh, two these are the backlogs from here we'll we'll put the items in the in our sprint you can confirm like this and it will be listed down here so this is all for today about uh, jira workflow probably in the next video we will discuss about uh, what are the different instances of jira so thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye